Oh great, it's fucking dead. This was running for five months since I last had a video on it. A couple days ago I needed to log into it to do some administrivia and it would not remotely log in. And I tried it again and tried it again and it wouldn't remotely log in. It was giving me these weird errors. I don't even remember what they were. So I figured, well, sometimes it just gets a little pooched and, you know, just needs to hit the big red switch. So I went and I did that. And I'm going to go ahead and power it up now. It's actually been off for a couple days now. And you'll see what happens. Power's on. Screen comes up. Post completes. Goes to boot. And we get this lovely message. So a lot of people would think, oh, this is probably a Windows issue or something. No, it's not. I'll come back right when it's ready to continue. Check this out. Should be clearing the screen and booting now. No. No. Oh. Oh, look at the progress bar. Look at the progress bar. Look at the progress bar. First of all, you shouldn't even be seeing this on a machine of this caliber. I forget if it actually displays it on this thing because of how slow it is. It may. But it continued on from there. And it looks like, okay, now we're going to boot up. But no, it's just going to reboot again. Yeah, it's just dead. Now the slowness of that, there it goes, just rebooted. Bam. Now the slowness of that, to me, immediately is indicative of a failing hard drive. I actually stuck my ear next to it. I couldn't even hear anything. And we just end up at a, you know, repetitive cycle like this. And that's it. So I'm hedging a bet the hard drive is pooched. And now we got to pull it out of fucking service and do all the work I just did on it fucking five months ago again. You can see I'm thrilled. All right, I got the system disconnected, and unfortunately I have to leave the screen on because if this loses power for whatever reason, it is a bitch to turn it back on. Got to keep plugging and unplugging and playing games and shit, and I don't have a suitable, nice replacement that's as tall as this thing, which is what's nice because that way, you know, you can see it over the couch. So as long as it stays on, it's fine. I don't know why it does that. I'm guessing the power supply is dicey. Ah, fucking hell, right? Oh, computer repair is open. All right, well, it's out of its native environment and up on the bench. So next thing is to see if we can duplicate the problem. So that usually is about as difficult as hitting the power button and seeing if it won't boot in the same way. So far the same. If I hit enter, we have a pretty solid on hard drive indicator light. The same slow blobbity boo in the uh, progress bar and the same bullshit is going to happen. Now with the machine open, You heard that clink clunk. That is actually pretty normal for this type of drive. And if you try to boot, you don't hear said sounds. So you can't fully, fully, fully say it's the hard drive. Okay, you can fully say it's the hard drive. It's fucking bad. I know it's fucking bad. 
I thought it was bad when I was doing this project. I thought this drive was bad when I got the fucking machine. The diagnostics pass, but very important. Diagnostics only test for known failures. Maybe a bad hard drive? I can't tell. As such, we'll go ahead and see what the known failures are. So we'll just go ahead and boot up our diagnostics. Floppy drive clunking. And it's loading the executable. We're going to go right for the internal cache test. Type yes. 20 gig drive. It's stalling. Read failure at sector 142F. And 1452, and there may be more. But yeah. Yeah, just looking at it, I knew it was a bad hard drive. Oh, there's another one. Also at 142F and at 1452, which is interesting, so I don't know what the fuck it's actually testing. Let's just see what we get here. Oh, 36 dog 9 and 36 Fox Charlie, 372 Fox. 3762. It's failing all the fuck over the place. Damn. Damn. I mean, this thing just completely shit the bed. Oh my god. It couldn't even test for smart operations. I'm going to just power down and back on just to see if because sometimes it'll fuck up like that if the drive is in really poor shape so i just want to test that again and see let's try it again wow same thing yeah just totally pooched lovely all right well we have a bad hard drive no wonder. So we need a replacement. Sitting right here in the way is the old digital picture frame machine that crapped out because of the bad power supply. I had a great mind to rip that 13 gig drive out of there and stick it in this machine. But being that the bearings in it are noisy and I don't know how many fucking hours is on that and... I never really trusted the drive anyway. I think we'll install this Seagate 40 gig drive. I don't need a drive this big. Does anybody still have any old 10 or 20, maybe 30 gigabyte drives kicking around? Old IDE that they'd like to send to Uncle Jay? You'll get a mention in a video. I'd love that kind. But another weird thing about this is as factory as this looks, can you tell the sticker isn't straight? It, it's never been tampered with. It's just not straight, and I've never seen that. That's a little perturbing. Anyway, we got to wrestle this drive out of here. Here it is here. It's another Maxter. It's got two shitty little strip-me-out-now screws. So let me get that drive pulled and the new one in. So here is the old drive, a Maxtor Fireball 3. So this was shortly after the takeover of Quantum, and they branded the Maxtor. No wonder it fucking failed. 20 gig, it says date is 13 August 2002. So this drive was 17 years old, and it failed. It's one of these little, like, slim drives. So this was not a quality drive. And trying to shoehorn this other drive in here, 
it, it fits. It wasn't a problem. But man, it got my fucking finger skin pinched in there. That fucking hurt. <sighs> Shit. Anyway, it's in. Well, it looks like we got a shot at it. Primary master, 40,000 megabytes. Everything is on, ready to go, and good. And let us exit. I didn't save anything. I didn't change anything, but what the hell, why not? And let's just run the same quick tests on the hard drive. No, I'm not going to sit you through another 74 episodes of reloading the OS on this thing like I did before. That's stupid. It was stupid then, too. Um, so, <laughs> we're just going to run through this and make sure this drive is good. Internal cache test. That worked. Smart test. Well, for quick tests, this drive is in perfect health. So, that's it. That's really it. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead, reinstall the operating system, patch the ever-loving fuck out of it, install all of my applications, get the screensaver set up, working, everything good, and then sometime in hours, days, or weeks, I will come back in this very same video through the magic of video editing and show the machine fucking working again. Talk about low budget. Holy shit. I just took the... There's like a shiny foil thing over this. I took that out. Four screws, Torx. And this whole thing just comes out. There's no seal! There is no seal here at all. No seal at all. The only seal was that foil tape thing. That's it. That's all you get. Wow, I bet this probably just has, let's see if we could see, yeah, just the one platter it looks like. Well, that's the end of that. The reason I opened the drive up is to see if I can get the magnets out of it, because that's always good to have. And uh, we're doing a full format on this drive, because, if I'm not mistaken, I did a full format on that drive, on this drive. Oh, another interesting thing is the heads are... Only on the other side of the platter, they could have probably easily put another head on this side of the platter and made for an 80 gig drive, and they may have done that. Or this may be a reject platter where one side was bad, you know, poorly manufactured, and the other, drive, the other side was good, and that's why this is a really low budget drive. I don't even know. But anyway, things are moving. Take a look at that right there. There's actually a lock for the heads. Obviously, I don't care what happens to this thing now because it's trash. But if you finagle it just right, you can... There we go. And that's how the head would move. But it locks in there and parks the heads. Nifty. Well, that's the most of it right there. Another sticker on the bottom, the plate from before. This is another metal plate. I might keep this. Might be useful for some sort of mounting bracket or something. Your head assembly has seven, eight, nine, eighteen pins on it. Just like that. And plugs in over there to the logic board on this side which can come out to reveal absolutely nothing and that's really it what else do we have uh, air filter right here of some kind another little filter for the top of the platter bunch of screws and what we came for the nice strong magnets 